Word is a wheel, there's a way. But with bicycles, the way has been rather tortuous. The monument lies partly in Nevada, but mostly in California, and contains nearly 3,000 square miles. Play it cool, don't get overexcited where you're going to crash or anything if you can help it. Now let us visit this fascinating valley of color and sunshine. I could go miles and miles on one of these, Father. So you should. In the dictionary, if you look up regret, you would see me planning this ride. So the route. This isn't your typical clean gravel road, no. This is 740 miles, or 1,190 kilometers, with about 47,000 feet of climbing, which is 14,000 meters. So that's like riding the width of Texas, or doing Alpe d'Huez eight times, if Alpe d'Huez was made of rocks that wanted to kill you and there was no water. Right, about the water. Last little drop. So over 740 miles, this course has one single place to get water. So loaded up with as much water and food as we can carry, we start from Yuma and head to Blythe. This is 115 miles with 3,600 feet of climbing. Stage two is from Blythe to Sahara. This is 126 miles with 6,800 feet of climbing. Day three, Sahara to Prim, that's only 90 miles with 5,700 feet of climbing. Day four, the biggest of the adventure, is from Prim to Furnace Creek. This is 161 miles with 6,700 feet of climbing. Day five takes us from Furnace Creek to Tea Kettle, 104 miles, 12,000 feet of climbing. Day six, 71 miles, 9,000 feet of climbing. And day seven, Lone Pine to Bishop, that's 91 miles, 5,500 feet of climbing. So you might be saying, well, that seems impossible. Who else has done this before? No one. No one has done this before on a bicycle. Why? This is the California backcountry discovery route meant for motorcycles. So this is the story of two cyclists, one good, one not, while attempting to ride back to back to back to back to back to back to back days on gravel bikes, all while carrying their own tools and food from the start of the ride to the end of the ride, oh, and also trying to find water literally in the middle of the desert, all with the simple goal to find out, is this possible? <laughs> 